All right, guys. So right now, let me pull this book so you can see. The deck that I'm using is called the Dark Mirror. This is usually a deck that you would use to kind of reveal the shadow side of a situation. So I'm going to pull that for the collective reading that I just did as a clarification to see if there's anything that can be added to that or the shadow work that that person or people around them need to partake in. Um, but we'll see what happens. Mm. A little difficult there, but I think I feel it as that one. Ooh. So this person may have acted out of envy because this is called envious gluttony. That's what this card is about. Um, and if you look at it, it does look like a mother figure, but it looks like almost like the devil card. I'm not even going to go into the things that I'm getting here, but this, this person really needs to do some soul work. Let me just read what this card means since this is a new deck for me and I'm sorry my phone is making noises but the, the battery's almost dead but I wanted to come and give at least you know some kind of reading today so envious gluttony this one reflects the moon phase of waxing gibbous I can't say that correctly but um, it talks about being in the stage of denial so this person may be in denial it says, going to the edge of the ravine, savoring the idea of letting go of all restraint. The visual seed. A man has rotten, rotting sickly skin and yellow eyes. Okay, so that is a man, but it looks like a woman, I'm just saying. He dresses in tatters and sticky blood runs down his chin. He has clawed feet and a crown of a skeleton alligator jaw. The upper part of his head and the lower part of his chest like a gaping mouth. This very much to me talks about somebody who has been spewing maybe hateful words or something like that. I'm just saying. The sentence, there is hunger sleeping just under the surface like an animal lurking. And the going dark section says, this card is not just dark. It is unpleasant, sickly disgusting. The di I'm sorry, the difference in the how we feel in front of a vampire as opposed of as of in front of a withering bug. I cannot talk tonight. It doesn't help I don't have my glasses on either. It's not existential darkness that we can paint of romance, drama, and subtle anguish. It's raw, primal, reeking of rotting stench. It feels like there is darkness. And in that black landscape, there is a hole leading to an even greater darkness. So this person is hiding something, but there's something way darker, way deeper than even what they're trying to hide on the surface. And that is calling. The urge is pressed down every time, played with, toyed with, treated like something that doesn't belong here. It's like rolling in the mud, bringing out the twisted, refreshing feeling of demeaning oneself. So they may be demeaning themselves as well. The key is that we don't want to recognize the depth of the envy and the anger. So that could be what it is. This person cannot deal with their own envy and anger. We cast it out of ourselves, and now it's truly a parasite monster, impossible to accept as something that came from ourselves. What if we bring light to the pitch dark as well? What if the scary monster is just a scrawny, starved feeling? What if it's just a little thing, dark as tar indeed, but to be sorry of, not to be feared. 
So this is your reading.